when you are compromised, um, a lot of the times people don't know it or you're compromised um, two, two degrees away, right? So you may be compromised by an exposure through another system, right? Or another organization, which is why it's important that dark web monitoring be a part of what folks are using as part of their advanced threat defense solution is something that we offer to our clients, right? Yeah, and it, it's something whether, um, you know, I think everybody has gone to the email address. You, you've been pawned or not email address, but the web. I think uh, it's to pwned. See their email's been compromised. So this we, is. I think it's pwned. I don't like um, if you've been pawned, you've, yeah, been taken, yeah, yeah. you've been taken someplace and somebody gave you somebody else money for you to come back for you in 30 days. And if they don't, then you're stuck there. Yeah. So this takes a, a step further and automatically tells us if, you know, they're seeing your information, whether it's your email address, email address and password, personal information on the dark web for sale. Um, so it reports back and tells us what information is out there. Uh, and this happens through just, I mean, everybody signs up for stuff. Um, you know, I know Dick's had an app, Dick's Sporting Goods had an app that was compromised. And I saw a lot of names, you know, get triggered off of that. So when you sign up for stuff, you know, you're hoping that the third party is, you know, taking responsibility for your information, but, you know, they can get breached as well and have that data siphoned off. So, you know, it just, there's many layers where your data, can, your information can get out there. Yeah. You know, it may not be a direct, a direct incident from your organization. It could be two or three layers down. I think it's a, like, this is an indirect uh, consequence of people trying to be more secure so they use like a complicated password and they want to remember it. So they use it in a bunch of different places. And so, you know, if your web, if your, if your identity is compromised, like on LinkedIn and it happens to have where you work, right. And it's got this password in it that you happen to also use at work or some other place. Um, then you've solved half of the equation for a lot of these folks, which why we really strongly suggest that people have dark web monitoring just to drive home the idea of using a password manager, using multi-factor authentication, not having the same password in multiple places, using biometric identification when possible, whether it's fingerprints or, or face recognition on your devices, just to try to minimize the amount of risk that's out there and to say, hey, look, like just that constant reminder of like something else happened and your, your information is out on the network or the internet. So you might want to go uh, take a look at it and, and make some changes. Yeah. And to add on to that, uh, keeping your personal and professional life separate. Um, Cisco was recent, recently had an incident that bad actors got into their systems. And <clears throat> at least publicly, what they're saying is it was a employee that logged into their Chrome account. So they had Chrome logged in using their personal information and stored Cisco related passwords when Chrome asks you, do you want to save this information? So their Google account got compromised. And so they were able to get all these Cisco passwords off of it. That's bananas. That is simply bananas that like people are going that far. 